So a few months back, this beautiful Motu Origins land shark was donated to the channel by a patron called Johnny, um, who's also a fellow West Australian, lives down in Perth. Um, and when I first received this I, kept this, I kept it in the box for quite a while because as you can see, the, the artwork on the box is gorgeous. But the main reason I kept this in the box is because I didn't know what figure to put in it. I really like to display my Motu Origins figures as they come out. I've, I've always been one of those collectors who likes to display toys as they were originally sold. Like going back to my Action Man collection, I like to display the figures in the uniform with all the accessories the way Palatoy intended those figures to be dressed. I'm not a huge customizer. and Nothing against customizing, and I've done a bit of it in the past, but I'm not a huge customizer. I like to collect and display toys the way they were intended to be sold by the company that designed them. So I kept this in the box for a while. I did want to get it out, uh, out on display, but as I said, I didn't know what figure to put in it because all the figures in my Motu Origins collection, they just look good on the shelf and I wanted to keep them on the shelves uh, the way they were. But then a unique opportunity presented itself on the live stream that I did this weekend when I was very, very kindly gifted this Rise of Evil 2-pack from a supporter of the channel named Chad. And the way that all came about is that the Rise of Evil 2 pack features Kelador, which is, I don't even understand this mythology, right? This is Skeletor before he became Skeletor. And then also Origins Kronos, which is supposedly Trapjaw. This is hands down the most boring figure in the range. I've got nothing really that I want to do with this guy other than make him drive the land shark. So we're gonna kind of talk through what I'm gonna do with these new acquisitions and how I'm gonna rearrange a few things in the collection to what I think improve the way my Motu Origins just pop on a display shelf. So stay tuned. Come with me toy fans. This video is proudly brought to you by Valiverse, the creative company behind the most exciting new action figure range available on the market today, Action Force. Make sure you visit the Valiverse.com website to purchase your amazing Action Force comics, toys, and other products, and follow Valiverse on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook to keep up to date with the latest product news. All the links are in the description below. Shop Valiverse, because it's time for action. Hey toy fans, my name is Tony and welcome back to the Analog Toys YouTube channel. And I think the first thing I'm going to discuss is the Origins Kronos. So this is supposedly Trapjaw before he became Trapjaw. Now Trapjaw, as many keen supporters of the channel know, is my favorite figure in the Master of the Universe range, the original vintage range. and. In the new Origins range, he's up there. Like, weirdly, I, I actually think that um, um, Orko is one of the best figures, but the Motu Origins Trapjaw is a fantastic figure. Kronos, on the other hand, looks quite bland. Now, he does have, you'll see on the back here, some loops on his body armor so that he can, is it body armor? Oh, sorry, that's me going into my military stuff again. I believe that's so he can carry the three different accessories that Trapjaw comes with. But what's the point? He can't do anything with these accessories. They serve no purpose, so to speak. Um, I, I do find this figure particularly bland. So he is gonna become the new driver of the Land Shark. But before we get to the Land Shark, I want to talk about Keldor and Skeletor. The main reason I wanted this two pack is because it came with an alternate Skeletor head. Um, one that looked more accurate to the original sculpt, but when I actually opened it, I was amazed that it's actually got kind of like 
uh, translucent plastic red eyes. I think they even, they feel like they glow in the dark. I don't know, just the light peering in. So my original intention was to swap this head out with my first edition Motu Origins Skeletor figure. Swap out the heads, because I don't like the old Soyfe expression on this particular Skeletor. But then I was looking at Kronos and I thought, this figure is far superior to Skeletor. <clears throat> I love the addition of the cape. I really love the addition of the accessories that go from like deep royal blue and turn into a translucent green at the tips of both the Havoc staff and the power sword. So I did the head swap on Skeletor originally but then I'm like, I want to see what it looks like on, on Kronos. So pop off Kronos's head. Pop on the Skeletor head. Now, I know this figure does not have the webbed feet or the clawed hands or anything like that. This is one of the best playable skeletal action figures I've ever seen. I love the addition of the cape. I love the addition of the color on the accessories. I love the paint applications on the chest armor and the head sculpt is just spot on. So this is now my skeletal in my collection. This is how I'm going to display him. What I, as I said, what I originally thought was I was gonna put this head sculpt on this figure but no, it looks far better as it is, as it came out of the two pack. Put the Skeletor head on with the translucent red eyes on this figure and it's so much better. So then I thought, I still don't like this soy face expression Skeletor. So if we get rid of this head and put Keldors on there, is that all the way on? I do a bit of there we go. Um, okay, Keldor shouldn't have the webbed feet and stuff like that. But it looks pretty good. I, I prefer this guy without the cape. You don't need any additional accessories. I think this is the best Skeletor in the Motu Origins line. And I, for some reason, think Keldor looks better without the additional paint applications and without the cape. So this is how I'm going to display the figures in my collection. You guys, you can do whatever you like, um, but I particularly enjoy these figures in this kind of, in this setup. Um, so moving back to Kronos, I feel as though he is a very bland, generic type figure. Um, as I said, yeah, he's got loops on his back to carry these accessories, but what's the point? There's nowhere to put any of them. It would have been nice if Mattel had of given his uh, his laser rifle um, kind of a hole in the end where he could put the different attachments on his laser rifle, but they didn't. So I just don't understand the purpose of these attachment loops on the back here. So being such a generic character, he's now gonna become the driver of the Land Sharks. So, I've had this for quite some time. As I said, this was donated to the channel by a, uh, a patron and a keen supporter of the channel named Johnny Sorensen. He's a great guy. Um, he's also local to here in Western Australia, or I say local, you know, when we're talking about an audience that's all, all across the globe and Johnny's only 1,600 kilometers away, to me, that's local. Um, but it's time to finally get this open because I've wanted to examine this toy. I, I never had a land shark as a kid. I did have a vintage land shark in my collection at one point in time. Um, don't remember. I sold it at a toy show, I think. It was incom It had the box, but it was incomplete, which I think is why I was happy to let it go. If it was complete, I probably would have kept it. Um, but let's get this land shark open because um, I want to see what this toy is all about. So... Again, this is going to be one of those boxes. I'm not, I don't know why I'm so careful with these boxes because I'm not going to keep them. Storage 
has become a huge issue here at the, at the Analog <laughs> Toy Studio. Um, so I don't keep these boxes, even though the artwork is gorgeous. Like if you were gonna keep the packaging from any modern toy line, it would be Mattel's Motu Origins because the artwork is just stunning. Not just the artwork that's been drawn by the artist, but the way it's printed on the box with, you know, a real glossy appearance, uh, glossy appearance. Some of it is slightly embossed. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. All right, so we've got here, oh, and I see a, a track underneath there. So there may be a little bit of assembly required here. I don't think it, it doesn't look too complicated. Um, so there's a cable at the back here that you've got to cut. Snap that off. And a couple of, oh, and here's one of the side cannons. You've just got to cut the elastics that hold this to the back of the box. So there, there's that. And is that it? There's a few more elastics here. One elastic is just wrapped around. And, oh, and we have this on the bottom. What is this? There we go. And another elastic here at the back of the, the uh, is it the port side cannon? No, the, the starboard side cannon. If you're sitting in the driver's seat, that is. Okay, so the cannon clips on the side here like so. Pretty straightforward. And the side track clips in here. Oh, I don't think I've got that in properly. No, definitely not. That's, that's quite stiff. It doesn't want to go in. Ah, there we go. Wow, that is never coming out again, I can tell you that. Ah, oh, so we've got the cannons here that elevate. This is cool. And here's the fun part of the, uh, the land shark. Is the, mouth, is the mouth movement of the shark as it drives along. It's quite a nice sculpt on here. Ah, quite terrifying, isn't it? Um, terrifying for a kid's toy anyway. Um, but boring old Kronos is gonna lose his laser gun and he's gonna become Landshark Driver. You need to give him a name like Copperhead or something. Um, there's some handles on the front here where he can, where he can hold on steer the land shark. that actually looks pretty good i like the way that has turned out that's that's excellent all right so land shark thank you again johnny is now loose and in the collection this is how the collection uh, so this is how the land shark's going to be displayed i don't i don't keep a lot of modern stuff box because because it's just not exciting to make videos and just show you a box and nothing else. I really don't, what am I supposed to do with these? Anyway, just a, a short video to keep in touch with you guys. I've got family visiting with me next week. Um, so <clears throat> video production will slow down. Um, but I just thought, you know, I had this idea. I was playing around with these toys today and I thought I wanted to share with you my observations. So. Hope you enjoyed this short video about the Motu Origins Land Shark and the Rise of Evil 2 pack. And I will, I'm sure I'll see you sometime soon, but it probably won't be next week. So thank you all for watching. And if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to check out some of our other Masters of the Universe content, you can click the links right here. 
or to subscribe to the channel, you can click down here. I'm Tony from Analog Toys and I'll see you in the next video.